Hello! It's Tuesday. Who did that happen again? How did that happen again? I always seem to be surprised about the day, but, you know, time just gets away from you. Um... Yeah! Ooh, okay, have I? Ah, that's what's happened. I've knocked the um, gain down when I turned it away. I moved my mic earlier and, um, well, yesterday. Sunday. I moved it on Sunday because I wanted to have a nap and I didn't want to knock it. So, I moved it away and I accidentally hit the gain switchy thing on the top. So I was very quiet, it was not picking me up. But it's sorted now. Okay, anyway. No one really cares. So I'm going to tell you about the game I'm playing today. So, um, this one came out a while ago and I just had it in my queue for a little bit and hadn't had a chance to get round to it. But new year, new promos. Um, so I am going to give this one a go. Uh, it's called Hazel Sky. Uh, it's developed by Coffee Addict Studio and published by Neon Doctrine. Doctrine? Hmm, I wonder how they pronounce that. Um, it came out on the 20th of July last year, 2022. Um, it is £19.99 or $24.99. Um, it was on sale, 10% off on launch. It hasn't been on sale since. It may be on sale again. Um, there was an interview with the dev about the game in which they said achievements wouldn't be too onerous. Basically, that's what I took from that particular um, interview. <laughs> I had a quick read and I was like, oh, cool. So I don't think anything is missable particularly. Um. Hi, Dan and Milo. Um, so, Hazel Sky is a heartfelt adventure about a young engineer facing his destiny and his desires. Sent to an island far from home in the flying city of Gideon, Shane must pass the trials and return as an engineer or face banishment. Connected via radio, Shane and fellow trainee engineer Erin strike up an illicit friendship is it a sequel to that tom cruise film i don't know i don't even know what tom cruise film you're on about um ooh, okay game pass quest that i can get behind this week um illicit friendship uh, a friendship that will change the way shane sees the world the trials are the ultimate test that every engineer must take before taking the honoured role. For Shane, the trials are his destiny, but destiny and desire rarely align. And in a world divided between honoured engineer and reviled artists, Shane finds himself torn. The trials, events in Gideon and unlikely romance tell the bittersweet story of love, ambition and a society on the brink of something new. So we're basically, we're on an island, I believe. Yes, sent to an island far from home. So, yeah. Oh, Vanilla Sky. No, I fairly certain that was a terrible film. Um, no, this is Hazel Sky. This is a game. It has 24 achievements. Um, there's no completion estimate on it as yet. Anything between four and 26 hours by the looks of the 31 completions. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Should be interesting. You were doing it, I can't remember. I fell asleep watching many Tom Cruise films. Um, so, yeah. Hello. Um, so as I said in my schedule thing, there may be shorter streams this week because I am exhausted, fatigued, tired. I was literally falling asleep playing Phoenix Wright on Sunday. So 
If I get tired, then I will end the stream, basically. We will get, hopefully, at least two hours, but we'll see. Um, Tom Cruise Marathon Watch Party or Well, that's a good idea to get me to sleep. Yeah, I watched Eyes Wide Shut and my eyes were shut. Like, literally the entire thing. It was that uninteresting. <laughs> my dragon can sleep through anything, so. Um... Yeah, so I wonder if the illicit friendship is because we're friends with an artist. I don't know. <sighs> Gideon. Okay, so the first image barely visible. I mean, to me, it's barely visible there, but let's make it barely, barely there. Hi, have all. Ooh, it's a gallery. Okay. So, let's start with some options. What do we got? Subtitles activated. Activity. Keep it on the defaults. Uh, video, motion blur. Oh, let's bring that all the way down because we hate motion blur. It makes us motion sick. Um, so soundtrack down. Radio stations. I hate radio stations. Sorry. Okay. And then view controls. All right. Okay. Helps if I put my TV up. Yeah. Right. Grip. Okay. Movement. Uh, and sprint, blueprint, radio, pause, jump, interaction. It's going to be slightly confusing. Look around. Okay, that seems reasonable. Ooh, happiness is a choice that requires effort at times. Esclusius. Esclusius. Effort. Ooh, okay. Someone there? Can we please focus? Because not focusing is making my eyes hurt. Oh yes, it has funky game score values. Excellent. Love me some of them. My current game score ends in a four, so you think I care? Oh, to do see. Ziara. The island used by the Casey family for generations. Around 20 miles of tropical vegetation, sand, and family member corpses. Tell me. failed the trial or just decided not to leave this place. Today is the day that Flynn Casey, using his extravagant gloves, takes his son Shane to this same trial. As tradition demands, the young boy needs to go back to Gideon, the city floating in the sky on the horizon. Completing this task will determine whether he becomes an engineer. Shane's father is the right arm of the current 23rd engineer, the highest rank in the city, and sees the necessity of new engineers since their number has dwindled and a revolution is brewing. Artists, beggars, hand workers, they are all whispering in the dark. And with each day, a new rumor arrives. A new lie is told. And the engineer's strong grip on the city becomes weaker. 
They will lose control of Gideon the same day the great storm will hit this island on the 24th of April, 1915. Today. Okay, so are we taking our son to be slaughtered then? If there's going to be a storm? <laughs> or are you taking your son even? Uh, me? Me? Am I your son? Anyway. Oh, the, the, the big con add-on. Did they not did they not unwonk the game score on that then? Fair enough. Yes, very Bioshock Infinite. Yeah. From the title screen, it looked more cartoony. Not cartoony, but graphic-y. You cold? Have we got a scarf yeah. on our face? Can we maybe not have a scarf on our face? Can we just see? Like, properly, because... Hold my hand, Shane. Or are we blindfolded? Step forward now. Now, you're on your own. <coughs> Take care, son. Yeah, I didn't have enough graphics for this, but... I know! Oh, there we go. That's better. I hate not being able to see. Chapter 1. Heart. Welcome to the Gideon Engineering Trials. Proceed to the third floor for further instructions. Something, something send up for your stapler? No. Pick up. Don't forget to pick up your stapler. Okay. The calling. Unexplained occurrences that... Reader, inspect a book. Excellent. To start off with 13G. We love it. Yeah. Now it ends in a 7. I like 7s. Seven. 7s are good. Um, and I mean, I'm never telling you I will complete these games. So unless the literally the total game score is an odd number. But as I said, I really don't care. The only time I care what it what my game score ends in or is at all is when I'm trying to get a fancy number. You know, like seven, 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 seven was brilliant. Loved that number. Best game of score. Probably hit eight, 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 eight this year. Not as fast about that one. Though eight's supposed to be lucky for some. Um, okay, the calling. Unexplained occurrences that defy the first logic by Araya Burress. Burress. In regard to the Grey Cat, I believe the idea behind this prophecy is the foreshadowing of its completion. The Grey Cat may be the constant reminder of a disgusting rumour about the fall of the city, and even that the constant vigilance of the engineers trying to suppress it is not enough. I recommend reading The Grey Cat by my colleague Bella Madeline for a deeper discussion of this specific sign. Can't actually read what it says on the other side. Um... Exactly. Complete it? You can't complete it? Well then you know. Okay. Despite, okay. The three events that precede the fall of the great city are the whispers of an old woman, the hanging corpse, and finally the appearance of the grey cat. Okay, I can actually read it more or less. But the angle and the contrast is really bad. My, uh, maybe it's because I've got the brightness right. Maybe I need to... Turn the brightness down a little bit. No, that really doesn't make it any better. Maybe I'll read it off here. Yeah, I can actually read it on on stream. It's fine, funny, very hard to read it on. Um... Okay, so anyway. Uh, these events, which were prophesied by Matthew Silber, are not simply what they appear to be. The meaning of the prophecy is more important than the signs themselves. The Hanging Corpse is generally believed to be the suicide of some important figure. 
It's the opinion of this author that it will not happen in a literal sense. It may mean the end of the old customs, um, or the death of the respect and honour that engineers previously enjoyed from both the city and the common civilians who nowadays despise the upper class. And we already read the grey cat bit. But yeah, it's like, on my TV, it's really, really hard to read. Um, so that was weird. Um, but hey, cool. Okay. Mm, ooh, what's that? Oh, no, this is where it's going to be like X's jump. Dawn of the first machine. It's like, from the ashes of the first prophet, I decided to build upon his creation. He created the basic nature of existence in this plane a long time ago, and many used his words to corrupt innocent souls. That's one. Two, all the good he did was forgotten. Very few of us have heard the truth of those events, and few have still experienced them firsthand. The current state of the ground world, or what remains of it, is the result of the corruption that infected everything it touched. Why is there such a difference between what's coming out on stream and what I can see on my TV? So weird. So very weird. Right, just stick to some of people. Before 30... Okay, where did it go from 1 to 37? Okay, 37. Before corruption arrived, my city had a name that even I can't remember. All was lost. The endless courage that faced many wars could not handle the deceit and the peril of this disease that was spread from mouth to mouth. 38. As I had not reached my prime, I had no master, no teacher. On the first day of the plague, I created what would be later called the first logic. Your nature is expendable. It remains of the old ways, but don't ignore your nature. Evolve past it. Learn to stop feeling. What's one? Two. A problem is an incorrect flux of energy and matter in the current plane. Every last one of them needs to be handled, and if your perception allows you to recognise them, your intellect will allow you to fix them. 3. Reject the disease. The curse will try and reach you through natural cognitive channels. Limit your exposure. 39. I presented my three pillars and they sped fa spread faster than the plague. Two weeks after I wrote, wrote those words, the city of Gideon was born. I built the first machine that would become the heart of the city, allowing Gideon to fly high into the sky and away from the disease. Yet they send their children down to it. <laughs> this map must be old. It's missing the floating bay. Okay. Uh, Russia. Burger Retreat. Whistle District. Airfield. Ohio District, the city, high elevator. Okay, hey buddy, well now it begins. Your granddad was the first one on this island, and after that, everyone in our family went as well. I remember him saying that your uncle Roy would come back in less than a day. He didn't. In fact, well, you already know what happened to your uncle. The madness of our curse will chase you while you're in there. But if you don't give in to it, you may arrive at the other side and engineer. Son, you never asked why we do this, but now you can uncover whatever truths you want to know. This is the time when we find out who we really are. You never doubted a word I said to you, but while you're out proving yourself a capable engineer, I beg you to doubt everything you come across. This may be the most important trait an engineer can have, so I ask you, do you have it? Flynn Casey, April 24th, 1915. Why is there blood on this? Also, that is... Interesting physics on this piece of paper. Sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't criticise. It's not like I could do it, but it's just quite funny. Examine. It's a cap. Yeah, I've got all, all kinds of apparel stuff. I can collect whatever that is. Uh, first of many. Collect one key. I got a key. I don't know what a key is, but hey. I mean, I know what a key is, obviously, but... Is this the stapler oh, thing? Great. Right, we've got a stapler. Okay, so we've got a key, stapler, and we've read two books and a letter. Can't get out that way. It says proceed. Okay, we've got... Press A to jump, and hold RT to grab, okay? 
All right, so that's the first thing is stairs. <laughs> oh no, you should totally let it pass without comment. With without comment. I'm collecting whatever that is. Though it does have the little present icon, so maybe it's in the gallery. Okay, so I got a Gideon trinket. Oh my god, I could have just gone in here and read it better. Oh look, there's more of the page. Alright, and as for the whispers of the woman, in the Genera district, some people reported hearing moaning and wailing in the middle of the night. This is the most elusive sign of the three. I could not decipher its meaning or find any real event that correlates with this. I exhausted every scholar of every major city asking about this myth, but nothing came of it. In the oriental tra tradition of Jilgamar, there is an old myth about the wailing of a woman that brought down a city in the desert. Even so, applying that myth to a modern city like Gideon would be a major stretch. Maybe that's Gilgamar. Oops. So gallery is actually... Oh, hang on. So there are more pages. How did I not... There are more pages in the books. Okay, 56. The plague is called A-R-T, art by the... Oh my god! <laughs> okay, the plague is called art by the infected. Hate it, study it, so you can better detect its erroneous placement in civilization and remove it. 57. Like, uh, like every other great leader before me, I tried to reveal the problems within the current system. But at the same time, I realized that we should not attack the so-called art. Instead, we should allow it to grow before cutting it back, like overreaching vines on a trellis. We need to have a good grasp of what this evil is, and to do that, we need to look at it every chance we get. That's why I wrote the city anthem, a piece of art that just shows what our enemy, that shows just what our enemy looks like. Eighty nine. I was not forced to lift the city, nor did I decide to do so. The city decided to, desired to go up. I was merely the vessel of its will. Well, that's just disturbing. Apparently, I can attach it to my trink to my thing. Okay. Used to fix machine parts. I got a rusted key. This seems very old. And a cap. Right, so there we go. Okay, cool. You find a dot. Use RT to grab. Can I just grab shit as well? So can of beans. I know the district where this was made. Matches. Same ones we have in the city. My character looks very orange. Well, I think it's got orange hair. I'm not entirely sure. Heart. Bear the call and end your suffering. B E A R. Bear. Bear. T. <laughs> um. And you're suffering all the way to the right way of thinking. You may then concede internal loyalty. Okay, faith on, faith on the belief of the first engineer. And live a life of, full of great service. Move every hammer with the same will you did the first time. And never give up on the only truth that inhabits life. The first logic. So, of course, you know, art is not logical. Therefore, it's the enemy. That is so weird. Hi, Lady Magritte. But yes, in this weird. light, my character is orange. Oh, that moves it up and down the front. Okay. I can play! And hi, old cash! Sorry, I did see you there. I just didn't see you straight away. Ooh, hello. The first way. E, B, G, C, M, B, B. The first man, not the first way. Okay, well, your font is terrible. E, B, G, C, M, B, B. What am people playing? Uh, I'm playing this. It's called Hazel Sky. What's everyone else playing? Yes. He came from the swamps of the oily land. He came from the depths with two broken hands. He came from the seas. He came from the skies. He always knew he was creating scars. 
Through the black blood he took from the land, a cold sweat spilled from his lip. From the grey smoke he created with his hand, children would soon weep. He went back to his land, he went back. He went once back again, he came forward alone to reclaim who he once was. Okay, is that meant to rhyme? Because I can't make it rhyme. Okay, I'm just going to write that down. E, B, G, C, M, B, B. Now, bear in mind, I can't play guitar. However, I can follow instructions. From the swamps of the Orleans, he came from the dumps with two broken hands. He came from the seas. He came from the sky. He always. The black blood he took from the land and cold sweat spilled from his lips. From the grey smoke he created with his hand, children would soon weep. He went back to his land, he went once back again. He came forward alone to reclaim who. He was I love Jasper Ford. What oh, for Ford? Um, Thursday next series. I'm assuming you mean that one, or Last Dragon Slayer, um, Shades of Grey, not 50, just Shades of Grey, and then there's the Nursery Rhyme Crimes. Shades of Grey, that's the one, only one I haven't actually read. <laughs> I love the Thursday Next ones, and the Nursery Rhyme Crimes. Last Dragon Slayer, I've only read the first one. I think that was aimed at a little lower. Uh, yeah, Shades of Grey quantity unspecified. No, it's literally just called Shades of Grey. But yes, it's the one I haven't read yet. Um, so I'm not going to get any references, but if it's similar to Thursday Next, then yeah. I mean, I'm not sure whether I've finished the Thursday next one. I've certainly definitely read a lot of them. Um, I think it got a bit weird. We've been silent long enough. They don't know what's coming to them. They can spit in our faces now, but we've got to be a radio, right? I just need to follow the blueprint. It's going to be soon. If you want to help us and fight back the repression, meet us at the statue tomorrow at noon. Join us. We will not be quiet for much longer. Let's keep the swamp history clean. Okay, at least there's no dead body in the bathtub. I'm never going to forgive Eternal Darkness for the dead body in the bathtub. It's a cigar! The first task is to fix the glider. Why is every single bit of font on here got a halo around it? Or is it just my eyes today? First task is to fix the glider. GTES-5033 and fly to carry using it. Fix the hole on the back of the glider using wood. 
could cover the biggest town on the left wing using cloth, insert coal into the launcher and proceed to the island. That's easy. Okay, press up to see my tasks. Okay, right. Ah, radio. That's where the radio is. Enter the city. Does that say I? Enter the city with a new title to start your new life. The proving is the time to carefully watch and evolve yourself. Always be aware of your surroundings and how to use it to your benefit. An engineer should be able to bend nature elements to his will and see more in them than what they look. Okay. And I've got cloth over there. But it doesn't seem that... Ah, hello, I can do that. Yes. Uh. Okay, I just kicked the painting. Moon fears the dusk. <laughs> Moon claims your skin. Brain, behold the reality that surrounds thy air and become close to your inner self through respecting your own name. The most important feature of a great engineer, if you something, something, a problem, if you can't solve a problem, you can... Can't proceed to explore something of the first logic. Remember, you have a magnificent brain since you came from an honourable engineering family. Okay. Okay, well, apparently you can just yeet yourself off things. I need to use this somewhere. That emote wants to make. We'll put your onesie on then. Hello, there's a glider. Okay, well, it said something about patching Let's a hole. Let's get this done. Easy. Oh, that's, excellent. That's Paul. How did he die? With all sincerity, Shane, I don't want you to waste who you are like I did. Do what you want with your life. Your dad, my dad, and every waster in that one horse town. I'd be happy to tell you what you should do right up until you die a stupid death like mine. Keep doing this and you'll be completely forgotten by everyone. The woman is closer now. Don't go back to Gideon if you don't want to. Your cousin Paul. I, I feel like everyone should put a onesie on if they want to. Just to clarify. I think it's very important to wear onesies. I need to use it somewhere. Done. I mean, I'm not quite sure what to do if I... Um, don't want to fly? I need to use it somewhere. Perfect! Vibrating like freaking crazy it. and it's irritating. Done. First try. Complete the first machine. Please stop vibrating. Hazel Sky. Kind of want to look what the other island looked like, but hey.
Who resets this every time? <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, hopefully everyone is doing okay this week. Or as good as to be expected. Has some fun stuff to play. Let's say dad. Ugh. Here. Ooh, pretty red tree. Um, wh what says that you can't go for a walk in your onesie? Oh. I am coming. I am half might. Aaron said to plant the tree by the shore. I dug a hole and put some rocks around it. Okay. <laughs> I feel like after I've played this one, I need to read, read sh Shades of Grey. Fairly certain I own it. <laughs> You're gonna grow real tall. Okay, that's the floating city not so floating anymore. Chapter two. Aye. Hey, someone there? There is a mobile radio. Pick up. Someone there? Yeah. Oh, that's great. I haven't spoken to anyone for months. You were doing the proving for months? I'm almost finished. I need to be faster than that. We are in need of engineers, right? I hope you can. Yeah, I took some missteps. Also, it gets boring after a while. You know we shouldn't be talking, right? Yeah, I know. But they left all those radios from the time the proving happened for. So, who are you? Shane, I'm a Casey. Casey? From Ohane District? Yeah. I am Aaron Ormond. <laughs> really? What? Nothing. I need to go. We can talk later. I need to get going. Oh, sure. Bye. That was a really smooth landing. I can't believe that's her name. Why can't you believe? Oh, now we can sprint. Welcome to the Gideon Engineering Trials. Island is called Kiara. Kiara. Second machine you are. Something to fix is called the Grand Javier, Grand Javier LR56. Something is located opposite direction of this sign. Pick up already here. The garage at this green arrow points towards some of the resources and further instructions for the trial. Okay, cool. Now I can finally run. But yeah, it looks like 
the floating city is kind of exploded, I don't know. Maybe that's not the floating city. Probably should start with the garage. I bet there's something in the garage. Ooh, no, sorry, the garage. Run, chain, run. Run for a long time. I don't think I was running for a particularly long time. I collected a something. I just need to follow the blueprint. Yeah, 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 shush. The dawn second machine. Oh, look, there's a page thingy. Okay, well, I'm going to go, I'm going to read it in the uh, menu because I can't read that text for some reason unless I'm reading it on stream. The dawn. The first machine. Wait, no. Calling. The dawn. Wait. No. Cousin Paul. First man. Gideon trinket. Juice bottle trinket. Blueprint. Big plan. Mobile radio. Rusted keys. Can of beans. Cap. Cigar. Matches. So, okay. Why didn't that. Did. I not collect it or something? Do you want me to try and read it? <sighs> On the first day of flying, I decided to create the second machine to better manage the city. It would serve as my eyes even when I was long gone. Built a powerful spyglass on the highest tower of the city, allowing me to watch every corner of every district. That's 102. 139. The cleansing of the city started. They came for every rendition of any kind of disease, be it sonorous, visual, or any other type of experience that would make the city inhabitants less effective. Rewards were given to the ones that revealed the toxic behaviour that created the plague. 155. And above all else, an engineer should be aware that his primary duty as a superior being is caring for others. An engineer must guarantee the removal of the plague from the city at all cost. 194. Three pillars of engineering are simple. 1. An engineer can never act, interact with the plague except to further its extinction via study. 2. An engineer should solve problems that further expand the city's greatness, pushing further and striving for an excellence with each new machine. Three, an engineer must always put the city above all else. These rules must be followed after the civilian has passed the trial of engineering which is detailed in the next volume. Okay. Well, I don't know why that didn't appear here. Oh, now it appears in here. Fine. Well, what you just did proves to me that you're not a complete fool. Nonetheless, it will take considerably more than that to become an engineer. The second machine will challenge you more than the first. Don't forget to put your glasses on when you apply the metal, this one. Shouldn't have to tell you that, I suppose. I want and need you to succeed, but that alone won't make you an engineer. I've never heard someone say what I'm going to say to you, but here's goes. You're not only deciding if you can be an engineer, you're deciding if you want to be an engineer. Maybe I shouldn't even be writing these thoughts to my son, but I believe you're ready to know. And truth be told, even if you're not, I need you to be. Flynn Casey. Hey, fellas, that's the Dale Heaton Space coming for you live. Here is the Dale Just realised that I did turn down the radio stations, but maybe I shouldn't. Jogma. Second task is to fix the balloon GTES-2074 and fly to Nyasa. Entrance to the Mentor's Watchtower is prohibited. 
we're totally going to get there. We need metal, wood and coal. Fix the hole at the side of the balloon using wood, cover the metallic hole using a metal plate, insert coal in the upper part of the balloon. We need to upgrade your stapler inside the well. Of course, there was something that I read in the interview. Um, kind of want to see if there's a thing. Oh, sweet. I can dive. It does really look like the sky's on fire, though. Said they wanted to prevent the, 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 the players from just randomly going in a um... <coughs> half engineer, half fish. Stay underwater for a long time. Okay, cool. They wanted to stop the engineers. Ah, this is the balloon. Okay, well, we don't have anything for it yet. Stop um, the engineers, stop the players just from swimming and swimming and swimming and swimming. So they put a shark in it. And of course, you get an achievement for that, which I read in the little article about the game design. So I thought that was quite cool. I know I turned off the motion blur, but it still does feel blurry when I'm running. There's way too many skeletons in this. Maybe I need a... Um Oh, Something is wrong. Yeah, I don't put any cannonballs in it. How many skeletons is an acceptable number? Zero. This is heavy. Zero skeletons is an acceptable number. Wee! Splat. Ball roster. Fire a cannonball into the ocean.
It said something about airplane, but also... Can you see an airplane? So, or are we talking about the one that I've crashed in? But I can't see where that is. Okay, so where am I supposed to be firing? At least it's, you know, fairly... I'm not quite sure where I'm supposed to be firing yet, but hey. Is there someone there? That's weird. It looked like there was someone there. You saw you all saw that, right? Can I swim out to that? Or can I walk out to that? Some sort of lobster cages? Okay, that is a little bit anticlimactic. Sorry, this is not beach simulator, it's just, you know, there was something that it looked like I could go and then I couldn't, and now I'm sad. I just need to follow the blueprint. Yeah, shut up. I collected or something. How many? Collect one badge. Got a badge. <gasps> There's a battery badge. Electric engineer badge. <sighs> Did I miss Flynn Casey letter one? Skeletons is an acceptable number of skeletons for you, Dan.
Please don't blow up. You have to have a closet full. Okay. Did I just get knocked out? Yeah, I think I just knocked myself out with a flying bit of wood. It's fine, every time we do that, we get to be someone else. Well, this time we are... We can't... How do we end up up here? This time we're the lady from the beginning. Who might be our illicit Erin? Is it Erin? So bad with names. It's reminding me a little bit of all of the sea in Siberia. I like it. So cold. And a bit of Assassin's Creed. <laughs> yep. Come on. This is a little bit Lara Crofty for some reason. Instructions unclear. Fall off cliff. trying to run with grab it doesn't run in these things anyway and jump instead of pick up stuff so we're doing well we'll just get used to the controls and then it'll be the end of the stream um did i say at the beginning that i copy got a copy of this game i mean it says it on that on the start screen literally that i got a copy of the game for streaming purposes and i got a copy of the game for streaming purposes thanks to id at xbox i believe yay we're awake again okay cool what a weird dream. Um, so thank you very much to I did Xbox. Hey, we have a torch. Excellent. This mine cannot be more creepy. Sending this message to the telegraph, and I will also be giving it to Mark Cerny when he returns to the city. Ready to leave this place. We pulled all the coal out of the ground and it's ready for any new engineer who needs it. 
I really don't understand the purpose of this new idea that we should have to come to the proving grounds and get the coal ready for them. Why can't they take it out the ground themselves? The engineer title is getting more and more meaningless, yet we still get fewer applicants every year. I found a gold nugget at least, and Pete found a strange sculpture with a creepy looking moon on it. He's really obsessing over this. And get this, he tried to bite Derek's hand when he tried to take a look at it. I'm getting tired of all this weird stuff. Please come get us quickly. I'm starting to hear strange whispers. Please hurry. Field report number 3308. Cool, because that doesn't sound, you know, dodgy at all. Can I find a weird rock with a moon on it? Yeah. Yay, maybe we can like turn into a werewolf now. I need to use it somewhere. It's a moon coin. I need to use this somewhere. I need to use this somewhere. Why are we taking it out of the cart? I was I trying to put to it, it somewhere. in the cart, and then... I need to use this somewhere. No oh, shit. Everybody loves party beans. Now with Mercury. Did I drop it? What the? Maybe it just respawned in there. I don't Apparently we can't just carry the coal out, it disappears. I need to use it somewhere. Shane? Aaron, I am finishing the second one. 
Uh, that one's tough, but the third one is the worst. You aren't ready yet? Yeah, I am just waiting for better weather. It's not a good day to take off. The wind is so strong and loud right now. I know. I heard on the radio that's going to get worse. You have radios laying around there too? Yeah. They were from the mentors. I will miss listening to them in the city. They are great! Did you listen to the funny stuff that they do? Sometimes sounds connect to each other in strange ways. I feel a shiver all over my body when I listen to it. It's different from the one we get from cold. Some people on the radio do that with voices, too. You mean music? What is that? Vibrations of certain waves creating different sounds. That's what engineers would describe it. But there's more to it than that. My dad always said it was a part of you that you lend to everyone when they listen. I even know how to play some music. Well, I need to play sometime. What do you mean? I need to play music from time to time or I feel weird. <laughs> I need to go again and finish this before the storm. Can you... Will you call me if you want to chat a little bit more? I will, I will. See ya. Okay, so now we need to get some metal stuff, but we also have to upgrade our stapler at the, um... The well? All the oppression, all the hate has been built up to this. Engineers have been hanged. Spectate objects. Students arriving from the trials will have the same fate. You that are listening to this on the island, don't come back. If you do, you are a red brush or a dead corpse. Get used to it. Okay. That will be the only future available on Gideon. Join us. Passing and belonging. An idea that has spread rapidly through most oriental cities is the so-called conduction stream. This is the concept that a river of creativity, inspiration and greatness flows through all existence and that the correct mindset may allow a person to connect to this energy. Individuals with such mentalities have created all of our race's unique ideas and great advancements. There was once a very kind... An innocent child who was viewed as a miracle. Ooh. Accidentally hit. Was viewed as a miracle from Gilgamar Gildgam City named Matthew Silber. Silber was a poor, simple boy who one day woke up and began fixing the city's many deep rooted problems, structural and societal alike. One of his solutions was so brilliant and unique that he's seen as holy figure to this day, even by those who grapple with the existence of the divine. When asked about where his ideas came from, Silver, at the tender age of 13, stated he would point his eyes at the ground before closing them. When he had both eyes closed, he could see a flow of light that would beam through the ground, and the ideas would just start appearing in his mind through the stream. He called it a curse, lamenting that he could not turn off the light behind his eyes. As a result, he barely slept. He rarely slept. When these details became public knowledge, the mayor of the city desired more ideas and wanted them faster. To expedite his plans, the mayor made a decision that would spark the rebellion of Childemar. He arrested Silber and removed both his orbitals. Ew! They took out his eyes! A 13-year-old kid! Ew! Forcing the boy to look exclusively at the conductor stream. Silber provided new ideas and innovations, but after a month or so, he went silent and only stared into the ground. The mayor's reign ended shortly after. Silber's inspirations did as the uprising prevailed. No one ever saw Matthew Silber again. People usually hold up the first engineer as an example of a great conduit. Miraculously gifted individual without suitable teachers, formal education, or access to great books. One of the first engineer's main inventions, which sprung from the eradication of all art in the city, was seemingly concocted from thin air. Okay. 
uh, I'm slightly disconcerted by the fact they took out his eyes. And not really. Okay, so there's a box here, but we don't have a key for it. We did find a key, but it was a rusty bronze key. Am I really doing this? Uh. Looks like I'm doing this. I don't know what this is, but yes, I am. Okay, well that's down back down to the garage. Ooh, I got a bloop for it. <laughs> Lawbreaker. Oh, it said don't go into the into the tower, didn't it? Well, I'm um, yes, yes, of course I was going to go into the tower. I, I... Sabrina. Ooh, hello. We've got a song. C M A B E B B B. I'm not going to sing it though. Field report uh, number C034. The prospect is making more time, taking more time than we expected. He won't be ready to work when the new factory opens next week. The only way would be if I offered him assistance. I'm asking permission through his report to do just that. Don't understand the meaning of making a viable working engineer like myself. Watch someone attempt the trial. Much more purposeful work remains to be done in the city. Field report. Um, number C035. The girl just vanished. completely gone. I left the watchtower and started a search, but couldn't find her anywhere. She couldn't have taken off. The machine's still here. She might have drowned or something. I'll make a machine so I can get to Gideon by tomorrow. You don't need to come and get me. This island has a weird feel to it. It's getting cold here. Field report C036. I don't know what's happening. I'm dizzy and starting to hear voices. Hopefully it's some mild condition any decent bioengineer could fix. Things just aren't clicking for me. I finished the trial in four days. I'm incapable of making a machine. Not even the one for the trial. Don't come back to get me. I don't deserve to go home. Somewhere along the way, between when I completed the trial and now, I just stopped being an engineer. I need to get it back or I'll never see Gideon again. We took two districts already. Ginnar is ours now. Their precious food belongs to us Ugh. now. Arthur's plan is perfect. Without food, they will not be able to sustain their fat bellies for much longer. We are used to being hungry. They are not. Child. They can try to push back, but it's only a matter of time. What was that? That was a key. Is this what the island looks like? Mentor key. All right, child. Uh, watch the boy. See as he stumbles on the ground, searching for the coin his father gave him. It was the one of the last times the boy would find it and return it to him. His father was a poet long past his prime. Today he's only a drunk, soaked in sweat. Vodka and tears. He holds something against his own son, forever failing to look his own child in the eyes. The boy can't see well out of his left eye due to an injury received when he was but a baby. Throughout his entire childhood, he enjoyed touching the surfaces of various objects and feeling their uniqueness against his skin. Born to a rich family, he always received whatever his heart desired, but the only thing he truly yearns for is roaming the land without anyone caring about him. He runs away from home multiple times as a youth, and when he turns 14 years old, he decides he will not return. In 1837, he leaves his hometown. He takes on an assortment of menial jobs, minor, stable hand, bartender. He never stays in the same place for more than a month or two. In 1838, he enters a new city with what little money he managed to save from his part-time positions. He goes to a bar and succumbs to his father's weakness for months. There he picks a fight with a different patron each day. Each time he gets hurt more, a sailor stabs his hand, a cowboy shoots his foot, 
He's expelled from the public infirmary for bad behaviour. He goes back to the bar and fights a tall sergeant from the army. They both wind up bloody messes and are tossed out by the bouncer, where a strong rain has just stopped. They roll, kick and punch through the mud until both of them collapse of exhaustion. They wake up with the sun strong in their eyes and the dry mud covering their bodies. The sergeant stands up quickly and helps the boy off the ground. You're as strong as a bull. The boy nods at him. Why don't you join the next front? You can get food and guns and whatever you can steal from the damn bleached. The boy looks at him silently and then walks to the old horse he bought months ago. He travels to a small river close to a ruined church where he always fetches water and bread in peace. Behind the church a man arches above, a limp woman in torn clothes. The man's body is boiling red, rage leaping from every inch of his skin. He catches sight of the boy and screams, I saw this first, she's mine now! A spittle flying from his mouth, he then turns his back to tend to the dead woman. The boy leaves his horse and approaches the man, but makes sure to leave a fair distance between them. He crouches low and pulls out a knife he stole from a barber a week earlier. For some time he only watches the red man. After the sun goes down another moment sooner, he sprints at the red man, stabs between his wrists, his ribs, puncturing a lung. The boy runs away as quickly as his lanky limbs can carry him. The red man looks around and tries to chase the boy down, but now he's bleeding and struggling to breathe. He cocks a small revolver he carries and fires in the direction of the boy who is crouched behind the church, beside the church. He watches the man as he bleeds out with frightening patience. Just before the new sun rises, the boy approaches the man's corpse, steals a few coins from his pockets, his revolver and a small clock that once belonged to the woman. The next morning he joins the 17th Front Battalion. They don't have a spare gun for him. They promise to fetch him one in the desert soon. They say they hope to find some on the third day of travel. The boy wakes up breathless. Blood streams from his forehead to his mouth. When he rises, he sees the bodies of bleached and soldiers covering the entire landscape. He stumbles like he did as a child, looking for water, and through the valley of death, he spots a broken wagon. He heads towards it. He remembers neither how the battle started nor how it ended. At the wagon, he finds wine and the bodies of some aristocrats. In his peripheral vision, he sees the horror of death itself arriving from far away. Dozens of bleached, covered with blood and fur, scream death chants long forgotten with meanings too horrific to be described in civilised language. Their faces appear to twist through irresistible acts of dark nature, their animalistic desires engulfed in pure instinct. Well, that's just kind of, you know. Holly Purple! How have you been? I have another song, but I don't have a guitar handy. Oh, that must have been the thing I picked up. Flashlight, that makes sense. And I've got two keys. So yes, it's dead body on the floor. Kind of gross. Don't know how long ago he died, but yeah. How have you been, purple? Oh, it says supervisor lookout tower. I should have read that probably. Oh, hang on, I'm gonna have to go down by the other way, aren't I? Ah, oh, you got super good internet. Excellent. Splat. Well, that's how we get in the well. Bad idea. Bad idea. Yep. Okay, well, well, what I'm going to go and do is open the chest first before I do that again. Oh, it's a harmonica. Cool. I look forward to seeing you stream.
We are playing Hazel Sky. And not dying. Which is always a good start. Yeah. It's nothing to do with Tom Cruise, that is correct. It's called Hazel Sky. We are going through trials to become Every an engineer. And apparently art is a plague. Someone should tell Kara that. <laughs> Every single freaking book is impossible to read in game. Though I think that has something to do with the fact that my eyes are very blurry in, in the game because I just jumped off a thing. Ah. Wow. Why is this here? Mushrooms. My magic cube. Rubik's cube. Okay. Mushroom guide. Okay. Over the last three seasons, I've been testing the potential effects of every mushroom from the class of Psycho Psycholanius. The results have been inconclusive as the only test subject have been me and my husband. We require a wider body to work with thousands a wider body of work with thousands of subjects if we choose to continue the study and prove that the substances will have similar effects on a majority of civilians. On the next page you can see the different species as of the class blah, blah, blah. The risks associated with associative disorders of this type of mushroom has always been a major point of discussion. Rumours about not coming back from consuming this variety grew even more widespread once the city took off. This was primarily due to the fact that the research was connected to any type of mushroom. The research connected to any type of mushroom was left behind. The new city opted to focus on more technical and hard data types of engineering instead of bioengineering. This decision was made despite the current administration's relative leniency regarding the city's state of overall health based on the multitude of contraptions developed by bioengineers. The mild visual effects of a low dosage of the mushroom are illustrated on the next page, which is why I couldn't see that. The final test delivered by Mary Terence Kanner demonstrated that the powerful effects brought up by the mushrooms allows a heightened state of awareness, which can lead to both extraordinary positive results and extreme failures of behaviour. The possibilities of these mushrooms, like the glue that began as a tool in the making furniture, but is now used by bioengineers as a sedative, should not be ignored. For her part, Kenner was portrayed by the media as little more than an enthusiastic researcher, independent of the government influence throughout her research, and public opinion generally accepted that portrayal. The strong visual effects of a high dosage of the mushroom are illustrated on the next page. Okay. Why is that specifically in red? Oh, is that just what's selected? Yes. So yes, we've not played Sabrina as yet. We need to get to a guitar. Deborah, is that you? It's a mushroom. To anyone who attempts the trials, I'm burning all the books. Everything you need to know will be explained here. 
you want to be a bioengineer and learn about mushrooms, you're out of luck. Luck? Well, that should tell you who I am much more clearly than I could describe here. I thought bioengineering was less certain, less static. But reading all these interpretations of the effects of the mushrooms make me sick. They're so simplistic. They make it seem like anything you feel and see when while under the psychoactive effects are just illusions and don't relate to real life. They're wrong. I saw the whispering woman. I saw the grey cat. The old tales are true. The moon will rise when it should not. The mushrooms don't cause your imagination to run wild. They help you see what's really there. They're not mind controlling, they're mind expanding. I see it now. I was meant to be here and not go back. I was meant to write this to you. Now that you know of all of this, it's your responsibility to do what you want with this information. You can go back to the city and lead a normal life. Push. Oh, pull some levers. But even if you do, I hope what I'm trying to tell you resonates in your head. I hope you hear that woman and see that cat and now you know, as I do now, that Gideon will fall in soon. Strange moon symbol. I don't even know what this is. I've seen it everywhere. I like to think it brings luck, even if you don't believe in such things. It looks like imperial insignia or something. Rings, stipe, vulva, <laughs> gills, cap scales, psychoactive spooks. I wonder if we were supposed to use that key we found to open something. Maybe this will help. Yep, yeah, sure. Let's eat a mushroom, because, you know... Always a good idea. Okay, now everything is... Whoa. <laughs> He's a little bit all stunned. Everything is in colours. Which is great, except I don't see a three digit code. Oh no I do! 209. Ha, it did help! Don't do drugs at home, kids. Yes! Most mushrooms, are, I hate garlic, so that, um, yeah, I am like, am I, in the, where am I, can I get up to the top so I don't drown, there we go. I don't like garlic, so that would not work. Um, I've graded my stapler, so I'm supposed to do something with a cannon, I'm guessing. Because that's the only thing I've got left. But I'm not sure what I'm supposed to fire at. That was unclear.
That's a cult? Weird stuff. Find the moon pamphlet. Children of the city, if you see gansers, refuse the trial, refuse your family, refuse the metal and the coal from your city, seek the moon. Through her, you may find what you're looking for. If you're not wholeheartedly looking for answers, don't bother. The sun is on the verge of disappearing over the horizon forever. The eternal sundown will challenge you. Surrender yourself to it so that the night may come and reign in perpetuity. You'll see soon enough. Okay. So, yeah. I have no idea what's going on, do you? Oh, uh, maybe this is the plane I'm supposed to... Right, that's the plane Gotta I'm... Move this plane somehow. Right, now I can at least see what I'm doing. No, no drugs. No drugs. Only nice mushrooms are the edible ones, but no garlic. Pirate's life for me. Right there. I forgot to put a ball in. Ugh. This is heavy. Perfect. There we go. It was like something about the plane and I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about because um couldn't see a plane. Not even one drugs, no. No drugs. Strens. And how to avoid... I have no idea what these are. This. Like mermaids and vampires. Okay. Oh, and I just had to... Oh, sirens! And how to avoid them. Okay. Does that say... 8185 or... Yeah. My great-grandfather was also a fisherman. He used to tell me a story about a scar he had on his face. Well, everyone... You saw dress trends as well. <laughs> I know! The fun is horrendous! <sighs> While everyone would laugh and dismiss what the old man was saying, I would be still and pay attention to his words. A lot of time has passed, but I still remember every detail of that particular tale. Many claim we rose up from the ground because the marvellous mind of the first engineer wished it so. I would call that bullshit. He did that because of the damn sirens. There were not hundreds of sighting sightings, but rather thousands. They were preparing something, and they talked to each other in their own way. They were intelligent creatures, and they were organising something big. Got this mark on my face the last time I went into the sea, and thank God that kid got us out of the ground a week after that. I still remember that day. The rain fell softly, and I was alone on the last returning boat. I remember my rage. I wanted to go back with my old man's gun and return it to him. Then her tooth went straight through my cheek and tore my flesh up to my forehead. She had red scales, red as rubies. Sometimes I still go to the edge of the city to look at the ocean and think about it. The story pushed me to focus my cryptozoological research on sirens for a long time. The red scales were the strangest detail, one I never found repeated in any other source. Perhaps the sun setting over the waves reflected onto the siren's body, but if it was truly a red siren, then he was intact by a unique specimen. <laughs> The prevailing idea on how to avoid the sirens is to hold a piece of coal while going into the sea. In the only example that I can personally attest to, I was wearing a coal necklace that my great-grandfather had gave to me when I saw a siren up close. She was trying to tack our boat, but failing. 
We've been travelling for nearly two months at sea without incident, so it's possible that the coal kept us safe throughout our journey. Nonetheless, I can't safely presume its efficacy without more proof. It would be irresponsible to tell people that coal can prevent siren attacks, but equally so to admit my first-hand experience. Flynn Casey, the right hand of the current 23rd engineer, presented a strong alternative solution to the siren problem. The information I'm about to reveal was given to me in confidence. So why are we revealing it? Mr. Casey did not give me permission to publish the next story I'm about to tell you. If you find him in Gideon, ask him about the scar on his face, which is markedly similar to the one my great-grandfather had. He will tell you that he had an accident while walking on a surface water collection project. That, however, is not the truth. Just like my great-grandfather's story, Flynn Casey's account occurred at sundown. He was alone on the dock as the rest of the crew had retired to their cabins for the night. People took rumours of siren attacks more seriously back then. Flynn was finishing his last pack of cigarettes. He was leaning over the edge of a ship when a siren, siren leapt into the boat and slashed his face. Through his gushing blood, he watched the creature flop around the ship like a dying fish until it managed to flip out of the boat and back into the water. One moment, From the moment I started talking to him, I could tell Flynn's experience was incredibly important to him. Before that event, he believed in everything the city officials said and lived a life confined by what the first logic allowed him. After, he began to better understand the world outside of the city. The only surefire way to avoid these creatures is simply never go near any deep water. I will contradict myself in this next sentence, but you might as well bring some coal. Worst case scenario, something to heat yourself up with. As a mopination of metal. Rusted old key. Depot is carrying. Oh, that, that opened a thing. Yeah, so it's the rusted key that I didn't use on the first place, and I'm wondering if I should have, could have, whether it even matters, because, you know. Um, but yes, there's a 8185. There's some sort of rebellion going on in the city. Another machine, another box full of stuff I need to put. Ah! I mean, we can't just. I think I read the book first. Of course, something was going to explode and hit me. Just in case. I have random stuff hanging. Um, but yeah, even if I wanted to, like, not do the trials and just, you know, continue to do random shit, there's only so much you can do. I need to use this somewhere. It welds now. I don't think anything is admissible in this. Let me just double check. No, it doesn't look like anything's missable. Well, it's nothing's flagged as missable. Aaron? Shane, all doing good? Yeah, just finishing up the second one. Want to talk to you. Say, if something went wrong and you know, I die like my cousin's here. So, your family island is a burial ground like mine? <laughs> it's scary that so many have failed. Sometimes I think we should bury them, right? 
I thought that too, but our parents and their parents didn't do anything. It's not like they would tell us why they didn't bury them. Maybe they just want us to know how serious it is. I guess I need to go back soon. So, are you leaving now? Pretty close to finishing the second one. But the storm is already here. I know, I know, even though. I need to get home fast. Would you please call me when you get to the next island? Sure. <sighs> Thank you. Well, I think I need to go now. Talk to you when I get there, right? Okay. Good luck. Sorry, what did you just say? I mean, I know we can't believe in luck, but I was reading a book here that really makes a good point about it. That is Arthur Griffith? Anyway, I don't think it's good that we keep talking to each other. What? No, because I read something that he wrote? You don't believe that crap that he's with the red bushes, right? He's just a guy spreading his ideas. Sorry, I need to get going now. Oh, okay. See ya. Interesting. I am definitely uh, intrigued by this. Now have a hot water balloon. No. Seriously. Why do I keep calling them hot water balloons? Here we go. That's like the 15th time I've called it a hot water balloon. It's a hot air balloon. It's a hot water bottle. A hot water balloon I don't think would do any good. <laughs> hot air bottles. That just seems superfluous. Ah, so that was the little place we were marooned on with the, with the, with the, um, just the little house. No, we've just been on this island. Where the flip we're going now, I don't actually know. Maybe this thing that's on fire over here. Because I don't see anything else. Hmm. But yes, I'm intrigued by this game. Which generally means, and I'm sure other people are intrigued by this game, which generally means I kind of want to stream more of this game. But that doesn't fit in with my, you know, restricting number of streams for things and... Nah. Okay, falling out of it, not good. Yeah. We think it was an intentional rip. Okay, is this the dad? Who now has bandages all over his face. Creature jumping in the ship like that. It's a weird flashback. I hope this doesn't leave a scar. Oh, that's the siren. Okay. Uh, feeling kind of nauseous. Okay, well, I was trying to get to the toilet to throw up, but sure. Just throw up all over the floor. Red brushes.
Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, all of that stuff. There's this thing spinning behind me here. Oh no! Answer, please. We did at least wash up on something after having fallen out. How did that happen? I don't know. There was hey. nowhere in sight. Chapter three: Brain. Aaron, I'm fine. The landing wasn't great, but I'm alive. Okay. You can listen or not to what I'm about to say, but you think about the proving as a good engineer would. So I wish you good luck because I can see how much the proving matters to you, and that's a common nice thing to do outside of Gideon. And now you get mad at me. You did Mosaic. How can you be so passionate about engineering and play and listen to Mosaic? <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, you can't be mad at me for that. You're doing something way worse when you do Mosaic. <laughs> it's music. We don't talk about that. Well, most of us at least. I'm finding what remains of the people that couldn't stay quiet. My dad is waiting for me and, I, and the city needs more engineers. I can't stop now. Even less for this. So why did you tell me all that stuff? I don't know. I feel strange here. I read some stuff left by some people. Things that were guess in jail in the city. I felt like I could never talk before, but now I can finally scream. Well, why don't you do it? What do you mean? Scream with all your strength. I don't know if I should do that. Come on, there's no one here. I want to hear your voice without static. Scream till I can hear it. Here, I will do it first. Shame! Now you go. Aaron! <laughs> See? That was easy, right? I won't tell anyone, I promise. I need to go back to Gideon soon. Shane, are we okay? Sure. I just screamed your name like a crazy person. <laughs> yes, that so illicit. That is true. I don't want to take you out of your task. Right. Call you later? Great, bye. Did the burning thing disappear out of the sky or is it just happens to be in the different direction to what I'm in? Third and final task is to fix the plane Icarus T3 and reach the city. Calling a plane Icarus. That's not asking for, you know, disaster. Build an Icarus T3 key in the abandoned workshop. Recover the two rings scattered throughout the island. Find and reinstall the engine on the plane. Fix the oil pump station and fix the, fill the gas tank. After assembling the plane, cover any defects using metal plates. So, you know. There are a lot of pieces missing. And a key? Yeah. Okay. I see now that I should never have sent you on this journey you're on. It hurts me to tell you this, but please don't come back to Gideon. I beg you, do not come back. It's too late. They're coming for us, and they'll be as vicious with us as we were with them. Fix this plane and go east. Try and get a job in some other city, any other city. Don't feel ashamed of music, Shane. They were right. That's why they're taking the town back for us. As your mother always said, the pendulum swings both ways. God, I miss her. I miss you too, and I love you both with all my heart. Don't ever forget that. Flynn Casey, April 24th. 
1915. How the hell is he getting the letters here? I'm so confused. What's this one called? The Third Dawn. The Dawn. The Third Machine. <sighs> let's just do that and then let's go into the menu and read it because I can't read it there. And I don't know why. I can see it on stream, but can I read it? No. It's not registered in my thing yet. Yeah, what happened to letter one? There we go. Dawn 3, 2000, two, 2004, 204. The repugnant lies started to gather around my name. The unscrupulous rumours piled up at my door. I have no allies. I have no warm water with which to bathe my naked heart. I'm terribly lost, yet I have never been so calm. 251. I may be gone one day, but the work I did, not only for myself, but for the city and its people, will resonate for generations. I'm not a prophet. I do not claim I will return into mythical form. The values and beliefs I have expressed in these three books will live forever, and from them the representation of my brain will come back with perilous anger for those who scheme to bring about my downfall. 300. Now I leave this existence. They are knocking at my door as I write these last few lines. The same people who carries flowers to my gardens when I alone lifted the city from the ground. Those same people will take me away from this place. Interesting, weird, and interesting. Very weird. I need to use it somewhere. But yeah, I'm intrigued where this is going. It looks like that looks like foam rather than welding, but hey. I need to use this somewhere. I've not ever been in a hot air balloon. I kind of wanna, I think. Don't know. Now that looks like you can get from the inside. Maybe we need to blow its roof off or something. He also rode a camel. Of 
Cool, someone hanged themselves. Nice. The glittering smile of the moon has touched me. I've seen it in my dreams. It told me what I need and want, but why has the truth still not been revealed to me? Am I blind by envy? How should I find the moon when it evades me? It's been two months since the last night. The sun is forever on the horizon, always teasing a night that shall never arrive. I did everything the moon asked of me. I burned all the red sage on the island. I brought the dead bird to the altar. I can't wait any longer. The black veil will cover my sight. Forgive me, Mother Moon. I am too frail to accomplish what you asked of me. Okay, but yeah, the burning thing in the sky is gone. Where the hell are we? Oh no, no, now the city is not burning. That is really weird. Someone buried someone. It's graves. Ceremonial knife. Aha! Is that what was the creepy chair? The moon claims the dusk. The moon seeks no fool. The moon fears the dusk. The moon claims your skin. CM A B A B B B I was spit out my tea then. I'm going to do a mosaic. While I was doing a mosaic, I'm going to boil some more tea.
topped off my balloon <clears throat> and my teacup. Oh. <sighs> right, okay. But there is music in here. Is there more music? Ooh, hello. The brown witch. Um, probably, but if not, even even so, have a great walk. Is this the long walkies or a short walkies? You see. Okay, well, I might still be here. Okay, let's see if the brown witch is in the gallery. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Well, have a nice poop. <laughs> the tale told by the followers of the cult is that an egg the size of a small child will appear at the surface around dead and cold life. If a specif specific tune were to be played, the egg would crack and the brown witch would be freed. The player of the tune would then be marked and sacrificed so that the brown witch could achieve her full manifestation in this plane. The problem with this tale is the person who plays the tune can be a cultist, so the chances of the full ritual transpiring are slim at best. <laughs> the cult exists only to keep their far-fetched prophecy in the public. The cultists have searched for this grand egg for the last 20 years, and the last five they have played the tune that supposedly makes the egg cracked, hoping someday it would reach its intended target. There is a weird prophecy that says, Thou which shall crack the shell should not be named. Thou which shall crack the shell could not be known. Thou which shall crack the shell can't be seen. Thou which shall crack the shell will not be missed. Arise. Thou which shall crack the shell must be falsely loved. The last sentence is the most elusive one. It doesn't seem to be affecting their efforts. It's strange how the moon cult has been open about their practices, yet there are still several sorceresses who inhabit abandoned islands. They claim that the current state of the cult is a false representation of the true nature of the moon, since they say there is only one way to follow the moon. It's so unavailable to females, and females should find it by themselves. There are nine sorceresses, each inhabiting a sister island. They communicate with one another, but live alone. The one we spoke with expanded on the brown witch tale. It's a famous story in the cult's most inner circle, but only the sorceresses and a select few others know its full truth. The brown witch is elusive. Seen through a veil of false hope, she will find the son of an abusive. But no tale will be told, and no song will be written. She will vanish with a young man's heart while it is warm. From the last file fire that will see the earth the brown witch will be born. Well that is just seems very wrong. I mean, maybe I'm supposed to play whatever song the egg wants there, but for now I just played my Sabrina song because that was the only one I had. I may find more. I may not.
Cool, dead person. I feel like I'm supposed to take the power thing with me so I can... Love things. Because that seems a little dead. Engineer graduation pen. It's strange that someone left it here. Well, it's very strange, just the island is very strange, full stop. islands very strange full stop there's a bunch of dead crabs and dead fish that's always great I don't seem to be able to take the fuse out. I wonder if I can make this train run. Choo choo! Hello.
Okay, I, I don't know how to make it let go. I'll come back for that. It doesn't fit in one of the holes anyway. Dead bison, live bison? I'm sure you don't want to be in there with everyone being kind of, you know... Oh, maybe we want to get it on the end of there so that we can then climb. How do we get it to come with us? I don't know. What is the difference between a bull and a bison? God, it's gonna be rude. Oh, that's just a bad Australian joke then. You can't wash your hands in a bison. You can't wash your hands in a bowl. But you can in a bison. That was not me trying to do an Australian accent, honest. Poorly, poorly Australian accent. Mm, okay, so... I may be ending on this island because I don't actually know what I'm, how to get past the certain bits, but hey, there's a pirate ship. We're a maths teacher. Well, it sounds more Australian. Okay, it has paw prints on it, so of course... And we don't have a key, though. Damn, we don't have a key for that one. Interesting! There's, like, some sort of rebellion going on. But it's sort of hard to describe. Okay. Now there's bison in the way. Right. But 
there's a plane part. So, no, they're not going to be magnetic bison. That's silly. <laughs> Basically, our dad dropped us off on an island. Because we have to... Oops not fall off a thing dad drops us off an island because we have to cr pass some trials to become an engineer but there's a plague and that plague is called ART but we I don't know whether we're succumbing to the plague or whatever but we can't walk in a straight line we need to play the mosaic we find a guitar and we play the mosaic music um but yeah and there's this little rebellion with the red brushes we are a very wobbly person Okay, bison food processing plant. Grapes to windmill to bison. We found a finger. somewhere. Yellow and gold. Excellent. C-M-E-B-B-B. -B -B. So we found some more mosaic to play. find some grapes but hey at least we don't have to climb the damn thing anymore we can go back back to that basement to play the um... ah grapes I need to use it somewhere. Um. And we have a friend called Aaron. Who's communicating with us via radio. And we had this weird flashback to our dad. I don't know whether it's present or past or future. Um, and we have to fix the machines to be able to continue with the trials. This is the, th the final trial.
I so need we want to grapes. Somewhere. Grapes to the grinder to, to this is not the windmill. But still I see your faces and you still have Maybe it's not it is the windmill, yeah. You know from where those chains came from? Me. I did this. I did it. It was necessary. You need to empower the slaves. Weird things going on. I'm enjoying it. I'm a little bit confused right now as to what the solution to the puzzle is, but I'm enjoying the game. I'm mostly just looking for hidden things. I need to use this somewhere. Oh, he's on top of something. I also keep getting my controls mixed up, which is always funny. I need to use this somewhere. The, the, the helpful hints are not so helpful, I have to say. And I don't know why that would make any difference. I should be able to put the fruit in and then do something. But the, I guess the question would be, and how do I power up the machine? I don't see any other interaction point. I mean, I put a bucket under the thing. Which I'm assuming, you know, fruit. But there's nothing else here that... It insinuates. I need to use this somewhere. Oh, you shut up. The kid, not you. It just says fruit windmill thing. This is the windmill. I put a pocket there. That is someone's finger. All that tells me is don't stick your hand in the machine. Oh, that's a good question, does it? I don't know, because I'm also thinking that the windmill is not. Uh, no. No. It goes down, it goes up, but it doesn't go any further up. It can't. However, it is not windy, so the windmill is not running. It does sort of look like you should be able to get up there. Oh, unless... Hang on a minute. It's got the handy Lara Croft climbing thingies. Jesse, why are you suddenly turquoise? Twitch Turbo gives you all the colors. Okay. So you're now Twitch Turbo. Interesting. Is it worth it? He wasn't turquoise before, so I'm confused. Not that I can remember what colour he was before, but you know. Add free for all channels you don't want to sub to. 
Fair enough. How much is it? Oh, don't fall off the stupid thing, please. Ten bucks? Fair enough. Um, but yes, also, hi, Jesse, if I didn't say that already. I have this gnawing, gnawing feeling. Um, but yes, I'm not powering it with fingers, even though they're not technically my fingers. What was that achievement for? It literally didn't pay attention to what I just, what it said. Find Shane's mum's mum letter. Oh, right, okay. We get the truth. I haven't read it yet, though. I have this ignoring feeling that everything's already done, that I'm not good enough to do what I should. I'm so tired, exhausted. I don't want anything except to get back to Flynn and Shane, and now I feel like I can't. They seem so close when I look at Gideon, but I can't touch them. I'm so happy that Flynn accepted Shane as his own, even when the brilliant Arthur would not. <gasps> his cause is too important for him to have a son, but I don't envy him. He's the unluckiest man in the world. He'll never see Shane grow up. He'll never have the feeling Flynn and I now share, and the best part of it is that my son will become the thing he hates the most, an engineer. A fully certified city engineer. I can't wait to see that. Wanted to play a little. That's mom. Do we have a guitar in here? Because, you know, I, I can play if there's a guitar. No, I can't use the binoculars. Oh, someone stuck a stick in there. No fingers. Okay, but then how do I get back down? <laughs> ah. Was I supposed to do that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm now back as I think this is Aaron. There was no pile of hay. Yeah, I, I miss seeing what friends are watching and I've never ever used Twitch's discoverability any features. I'm like, I will find out who's streaming by based Must off people I follow and then raids and stuff. Um, you follow enough follow channels here. you don't want to subject. Um, but do you also um, you don't get the emotes because you're not up so you just don't get the ads. I mean, there's a dead body over here. Do you mean you? Oh, lots of dead bodies. Hello, there's a book. Ooh, you got a book. Okay, that is a creepy book with an eye. Got it. So this is how I should do it. Ah. No, that makes sense, Jesse. I just... Honestly, I put up with the ads on the ones that I don't... I sub to the sub to my friends and I don't really watch anything else, so... Um, I've never got ads on the speed gaming one that I've noticed. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't want that many, but yeah. So we've got some... And, and the... Um, it's gonna be yeah. easy. Gonna be easy, yeah, of course. I, I completely understand all of this. It's not absolute nonsense. There's an eye that's crying. I am ready. I am the next brown witch. 
You are the next brown witch. Okay. Yeah, apparently we were supposed to fall off the building. Which is amusing. What a weird dream. And now we have to climb the stupid thing again because we need to. I mean, I'm basically, you know, with the prime sub, which I use for Lady Magritte because that makes me happy. Don't know why particularly, but that makes me happy. Um, you know, and then Kara, Jesse, Leaky. Graf, Sammy. I need you for someone. They're sort of ones I watch regularly, so I don't really want ads on. I don't think I need more than one, to be fair. I mean, effectively, we're making wine, but it still looks a little gross. Perfect. Twenty two. Yeah, I have under under ten. Yeah. It's like I occasionally drop a sub to someone you know, as a new whatever, but it's only really channels that I follow regularly. Am I supposed to put this in like a... a trough or something? Ah, maybe over here. And then ring the bell. Yeah, that one bucket held all that. can't get the bucket to get more so ah there we go I don't know what this is oh it's the power that it was sitting on I need to use someone oh my god now you're bright green Right, now maybe we can actually get something in this thing. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, there's a release button on this now. Okay. Up. Bad purple. Too many people are purple. You have to pick a different color. I should call Aaron. Okay, apparently hey, putting Aaron. a wing in a train. There? Aaron, how was the last one going? Tough one, right? Yeah, but I am going really fast since what happened in the city. Did you hear about the red brushes taking another district on the radio? <laughs> that one looks quite good, actually. Yeah, 
I think I heard something like that. Of course, it's just green. Because you're a mod on my chat, so no one can see the Akurlas except for us right now. I don't know if it's safe to go back there. Have you heard about all the crazy stuff they are doing to engineers there? Yeah, but that's why I need to go back and help. Maybe it's too late. What the 23rd engineer did was... He looks like his father. It's simple as that. I just need to behave like my dad did at that time. Think about everyone in the city above all else. But will they do a worse job than the engineers? I mean, there aren't enough of us remaining to tell that. But Dad always said, it isn't about that. It's about the change that would happen. People would suffer from that. But that small moment of pain could be worth it, right? Wait a second. Your dad didn't hate them like everyone else, did he? I don't know. It's really confusing. When he's in front of someone else, he says that even to think about them makes him throw up. But when we're alone... What? Nothing really. Must be because of my mom. She was with them for some time. Really? Yeah. Dad left a picture here. She was really pretty. Sorry, but she ran away like they do? Dad told her to go away. I'm so sorry, Shane. I need to get going with the new machine. All right. See ya. That one looks good. It's really weird. I have no idea what you were before, but I just know that you changed. Is the sky hazel yet? Uh, no. And we didn't lose any fingers, but we have a wing. The choo-choo train has a wing. sky in the title comes from it's interesting but yes we did find out that our dad is actually the leader of the rebellion and not the um engineer well our biological dad anyway um all right we've got another song to play as well so while we're here yeah, I'm not quite sure what is in here, because that didn't have a release. And we had a weird cutscene where it seemed like the girl we were following into the frozen bit was like, I'm the next brown witch now! And I'm like, uh, what? Yeah, we got a note from mum. Yellow and cold. C-M-E-B-B-B. -B -B. Ooh, we got a badge. When did we pick that up? Yeah, maybe. Alright. C-M-E-B-B-B. I don't think I can drop it for Smashy Smashy, Dan. It won't let me let it go. <laughs> So full of sorrow. 
Here we go. That's three songs. I should probably think about ending soon. The problem is I don't know how it saves. Oh dear, excuse me. There's an engine somewhere. I mean, yeah, it could be that there's a smashy smashy. I don't know. But let's get this other wing at least. A battery. Oh yeah, and this is the problem in that I uh, like. Oh, there's suddenly a hole in it now. There wasn't a hole before. Oh, I wonder when that happened. He's a bullet. Okay. Gonna find them all. Inspect 16 objects. I mean, certainly I'm going to try. How did that happen? It's weird. Hello, there's a guitar in here. I can't play it. Join us. Examine. It's a cookie! I feel like we've found, like, the headquarters of the Red Brush. The comeback! Hey, we got another song! Okay. E B B B C M A B. Oh, there is a song. There is a thing there. Okay. What you smoke? Nothing. I guess you're missing something in your life. Okay. Scarred become more focused. Oh, I think that's the radio. We're so glad we found each other, even if it wasn't what we were meant to do here. One way or another, the trial is supposed to shine a light on every aspect of life and show that engineering is the be all and end all. But we found something much better. The deepest and most surprising feeling, love. It's better than we could have ever hoped for. The comfort we give each other has freed our minds. We can no longer return to Gideon. I don't know what we'll do, or worse, I know exactly what to do. Reading outside materials has inspired new ideas, but even so, we feel like if we find ourselves anywhere else, we'll fall apart, and exterior forces will only make us weaker. We've decided to do the same thing the relief machine does back at the city. We'll part ways with this place together and hope that our higher souls blend into the eternal circle. The mushrooms on the first island, the cat, the lady, it's all the same thing, all the same idea. So are you talking about suicide? Because I don't feel like that's an idea. Oh, it's the Grey Cat book! Excellent. I can't read that at all. Is this my TV? Oh, my eyes. I, I feel like that's my eyes. In this, this place, the light is weird. Okay, let's hope that we can read that in the gallery. The grey cat. Excellent. I can't see what's above child. <laughs> no, my vision's not blurry. I just had weird um, scan lines in front of my eyes, but I think it was the light on the thing. 
And I already had tests. I already got tested. I'm not diabetic. I received a lot of feedback on my last book re regarding Victoria Nimi's son, saying that I haven't even talked about the behaviour of the creature. It's very similar to a feline as it attacks small animals and then presents them. I left out such details because at the time, the situation itself was already a fascinating case study. I did not need to correlate those events with the great myths running rampant in Gideon because, like the siren attacks, they were recurring right in front of our eyes. I would like to start the book by crediting the above-mentioned idea. I believe it to be a very viable solution to the big question, what is the grey cat? I said, I meant trending. I said trendy, and now Dan won't stop teasing me about it. When this book is published, I will no longer be in Gideon. I will be able to safely report experiences and events that would be illegal for a citizen to report on. For the sake of this book's subject, I must leave. For instance, on December 8th of 1907, I heard that an, a large old grey cat was living in the upper part of a factory in the Genara district. Or the Gem... Gemnara... Genara? Okay, anyway. I went there to examine the rumours since the last time a feline had not been seen in Gideon in over a decade. It's amazing that most of the people who align with the 23rd engineer don't see the correlation between this and the rat infestation that the city has suffered from during those 10 years. That's a subject for another time. When I arrived at the factory, I realised it had not been operational for some time. I found no trace of the old feline there reported, but I did sp find a small, frail cub. It was rather frightened, but I was able to get close to her because of the tuna I brought with me. It read somewhere that, tunas, uh, that felines enjoy tuna immensely. I could not believe that a single cub had survived the eradication. Further into the structure, I found the carcass of a big grey cat, most likely the mother of the cub I found. Do we mean kitten, then? I could not allow the last individual of this species to die from starvation or worse, so I did what was required. I brought her back with me and have nurtured her growth for the past six months. I may be overstating the importance of my find, but I believe Gideon will only fall when the last cat in the city is killed or removed. I will mourn the many deaths that will come with the city's collapse, but I've decided that I will leave with Lila. The cat is going to be my pet, and therefore she required a name. I don't know what the fall will actually entail. I hope Arthur Griffith and the rest of the rebellion are able to control the city, but even, more, even so, much blood will be spilt for their cause. To anyone reading this book inside the city, good luck. I thought we're not allowed to have luck. Ah, so she is the one who did that. So we've got E, B, C, A, which we'll play in a minute. No, oh, it's alphabetical. Let's have that. <laughs> E B C A, E B C A, E B C A. No, it's the way that the light I was getting a moire effect, but I could never read the text on the actual stream at the, on my TV at the moment. I could read it on my computer, but not on the TV. Chosen to believe, but accept that you will always let it go. We can all come back someday. Okay. Yeah, the light in this particular room is not great on my eyes. What am I supposed to do in here? Or is it just a find a song? 
eat some cookies. I thought I was gonna... Ah, hang on. I thought I was gonna find a power source. Yeah, I thought I was going to get a power thing. I did not. And I can't take the one out of here. See if I can do anything with this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where the engine is. Oh, damn it. Well, at least we can go forwards and backwards, so. We do need to bring the train round for that, which we will do afterwards. So there's the bit where we had to lead some sort of bison. Um, to balance a thing. And then oh, maybe because there's this down here, maybe there's a power down here. Oh yeah, and there was that box. We never got a key. There was the box with the paw prints. Can of spaghetti. Hi, Alu. Key. Look at my collection of keys. It's very cool. <gasps> Ty 
diving helmet! What am I up to? A new game. Yes, this is called Hazel Sky. And we've started it today. Um, I should probably finish soon, but... Yeah, apparently going underwater just requires sticking a helmet on my head. This is a puzzle, yes. I'm trying to find power. And I've got to make a key. Yep, I can actually dive with it. How weird and random is that? Slow as ass. Oh, hey, there's a, a code. There was another place that had a code. a power thing. We never used the four digit code. So, yeah. I don't know actually how far through. I'm going to have a quick look at the achievements in a minute when I've loaded this onto the lift. And I dealt with the out of space error. Apparently it was my Xbox cloud storage for screenshots, not my console storage. So I uploaded a bunch of them to OneDrive, which is now screaming at me because I used like a lot of space on that, but it's because I accidentally uploaded duplicates um, and deleted a whole bunch of ones that I didn't need. And now I have lots more space. Okay, so this is it. Complete the third machine. There's the secret. Secret ending, escape from Gideon, collect all badges, all keys, all books, all songs, feed the cow five times. Well, I'm assuming that's the cow that I have to move, and then a secret, which I'm going to reveal. Become an engineer! Okay. So... Yeah, I don't know how close I am then to... Like the actual ending, and whether I want to, um, okay, apparently we wanted to take our helmet off first. I need to use it somewhere. Yeah, 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 shut up. Um, whether I finish here, I don't know where it saves. Um, if I see it safe, maybe I will finish there, and then I suppose we could do one more stream? Are you there? 
Hey, how's it going? Great. Shane, listen up. I got some jokes from a book I found. Tell me which ones are funny to you, okay? Sure. Two artists are sleeping. A thief comes in, pulls the blanket from the bed and runs off with it. One of them is aware of what happened and says to the other, Get up! Go after the guy who stole our blanket! The other responds, Forget it. When he comes back to take the mattress, let's grab him then. <laughs> <laughs> that was okay. Wait, I got a better one. So a coward is asked which are safer, warships or merchant ships? Dry dock ships, he answers. <laughs> okay, that was a joke. That wasn't a joke, okay, that was just sensible. Okay, I got one more. Okay. So, okay. A bioengineer came to check in on a friend who was seriously ill. When the man's wife said that he had gone, the engineer replies, When he ever is back, will you tell him that I stopped by? I don't think we should joke about this kind of stuff. Why? Well, that's like... What are we trying to become, right? An engineer. Just imagine people that aren't from engineering families joking about us. I know, but the people who make these jokes are the ones that need the help. Most of the time, what is left to them is to laugh about us or do mosaic or stuff like that. Mosaic. Even so, this is not ours. Okay, I guess. Well, the third trial will not get ready by itself. Sure, we can talk later. Thanks for um, letting me bother you. No, I like it. Thank you for calling. See ya. Bye. Yeah, you see, I'm not sure if that has saved or what. Because there was like a visual loading indicator, like a little spinny CD. I don't want to quit out and then come back in and find that, you know, like, I've got to recollect everything again. But also, I kind of want to finish up because it's been three hours. But there isn't a, it, there's a quit, but I don't know if it would save. Um... Drain not in right place. But yeah, so basically, Yalu, we are training to be an engineer. We got dropped off on this random remote island by our dad. Um, but it, everything's not as it seems to be, and there's like a rebellion going on and stuff. I should call Aaron. We're gonna call Aaron again because we picked up one more thing. <laughs> Aaron, pick up. Shane, hey, everything okay? I'm finally halfway through the third one. Didn't think it would take so long, but everything is almost over. The first two are pretty easy, right? Well, easy like engineering. They are predictable, right? You know you're going to fix what is wrong with the machine. They even leave you a blueprint with the error they inflicted on them. What do you mean with all that? Well, are you really proving that you're an engineer by doing this? Or even better, why does it matter? You are just making tasks on a list. What's the skill required on that? I love lists and things to fix. <laughs> I like them too. Structure is good, but 
sometimes, I don't know, you can get lost within yourself. Like how I am right now, I just can't take off because of a bunch of reasons. Right. I was on the first island when you said you were preparing to take off. So, what's the problem? Well, there are a lot of things that aren't working. I need to go and try to fix some stuff. Ugh. Okay. I'll talk to you later, then. Bye. Yeah. So that's our friend Aaron, who is also trying to be an engineer, we think. Not entirely sure. She seems to be sort of self-sabotaging a little bit as well. Um, but on the first item we had to fix a little plane, on the second item we had to fix a hot air balloon. Kept calling it a hot water balloon. And this time we're fixing an aeroplane. You basically fix the machine to get to the next island. Though, Aaron does have a point. It's basically just go here, do that, and there's not a great deal of skill. I suppose doing an engineer, becoming an engineer, it's like they've dumbed it down to try and get lots of people, you know, to do it, but without actually, you know. Where's the engine supposed to go? Or is that propeller? You're in the onesie now. Um, it was premature. Yeah, I'm not... Fin I I'm trying to figure out if it's saved. There we go. And mainly also just sort of putting things in my plane. Um, trying to figure out how much of it is left so I can be like, okay, well, I can do one more stream. I feel like it might be a shorter stream, possibly, but there is a secret ending apparently. And I don't know if there's chapter selectors. You have to replay stuff to be able to get like all the keys and all the songs and everything. But I figured we had the bits for the plane. We put them on the plane and then we would end the stream. Because we haven't even gotten to the secret workshop to make the key. Well, either that or someone did not tag the, um, you know game properly <laughs> equally as possible you know I have played many a game where I've been like right well I'm gonna go flag that as missable but anyway we will see Especially because one of the comments for six songs, someone was like, oh no, it was a one of the forum posts because someone was saying something was bugged. I don't know if it is bugged, but they were like, I don't want to have to go play the last two, first two chapters again for a secret, whatever. So it may be that you have to replay. Um. The point is, I'm not quite sure how much of it is left. Oh my god, this is torture. This is torture! There we go. Alright, at least we don't need to do anything with that again. But, my question still is, has it saved? Okay, so what does the blueprint say? Blueprint says recover the wings, find and reinstall the engine, cover defects with metal plates. So now we need to build a key, fix the oil pump, and fill the gas tank. Which involves figuring out how to do the cow thing. 
So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I am not sure what saved and what hasn't and everything. And there's also possibly some bits, because there's at least one key somewhere that opens a chest. Um, but anyway, we are going to quit and hope that it's saved. Well, something's spinning in the bottom corner behind my head, so maybe. Um, but yeah, it's really interesting, really intriguing. We have gotten. I feel like you know we've 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 done a good portion of the game. You know, though we have, <laughs> considering we've got fifteen achievements, we have oh we have an even number of gamer score. Um, we got all the odd ones at the beginning. Um, yeah, we, we only have a third of the game of score and we have over half the achievements, so that's always funny. Um, so yeah, we are going to end the stream here. I, I What I said was I was going to end early if I felt exhausted and couldn't speak like I did with Phoenix Wright. Um, but what happened was I felt more awake, so that's fine. That's a good game. I really enjoyed that. Um, I got a copy of the game for streaming purposes from ID at Xbox. Um, it's 20 quid, $25, if I take a cent, pence. Um, so, I don't know, is that on the steep side? I don't know, it depends how many hours you get out of it. We've got three and a bit already. Um, so, you know, your, your, your mileage may vary on whether you think it's worth it, but I'm really enjoying it. It's quite intriguing. Um, so I guess we could pick it up on a Saturday for a, a cozy potential. Um, GG's, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Alu. I appreciate the GG's. Um, so what's the next stream? I have, I have a plan and everything. Um, so yeah, so, oh yeah, tomorrow is co-stream with Jesse. I don't know what it is yet. Um, because he hasn't told me. But I think the idea is that um, we're doing a co-stream, 8 p.m. UK time. My next solo stream is on Thursday. I'm playing a point and click called Like No Other, The Legend of the Twin Books, um, which I'm looking forward to. And then Saturday I'm doing Power Wash Sim. Um, but yeah, there's always potential for Hazel Sky revisiting on a Saturday, um, because then if it's slightly shorter, that's fine. Um, so I'll pencil that in for the third Saturday. Um, but I mostly have streams planned out. I'm actually, um, fairly organized. So yeah, anyway, thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, Purple is streaming. Let's go say hi to Purple. Um, because they said that they have just started back up again. They're doing just chatting, but we can still go raid. Uh, raid Purple. Um, say hi from me. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, thanks so much for being here. Hopefully you enjoyed the game. I really enjoyed the game. Um, yeah, we will try and finish it off on stream, I think. Just because I feel like I need a resolution. Um, and it doesn't feel like it's going to be like, you know, 17 million streams. Um, so I think that works. But yeah, thank you everyone for being here. Really appreciate it. Go say hi to my friend Purple. Uh, they've just come back uh, to streaming after a bit of a break. Uh, but for now, I've been Joe, otherwise known as Angelus. Again, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.